Lord, good night. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Saturday night to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in the world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, he says, Lo, I'm with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome tonight? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic that God himself promised to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making? He says in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by thy dwelling. Welcome to my, let's give a big hand. What bless you, wish you sincerely from my heart tonight. I release a blessing upon your life and I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially materially, financially, educationally, every area of your life, and whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper. I pray that God will bless your homes tonight. God will bless your marriage. God will bless your children. God will bless your finances. God will bless your business. God will bless you on the job. And whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper in Jesus. Precious and gracious and wonderful. And let's give the Lord a big hand tonight for the blessings he pronounced upon our life. I cover everyone upon, I cover everyone under the precious blood of Jesus tonight. And I build a hedge around your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful the blood of Jesus is the repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness every spirit of witchcraft Oh, be a demonic forces, evil blacks, generational curses, whether first, second, third, or fourth generational curse. I break tonight in the name of Jesus, for whom the Son set free is free indeed tonight. You are free tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's give him a big hand tonight. Yes, praise God. Hallelujah. You are free in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Isn't that also also he said in his words, healing is a children bread and the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing for he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes I'm healed. You are healed. We are healed. In Jesus' name, let's give him a hand tonight. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the healing war. But he said in his words, the thief commented, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy what Christ comes, that we might have life and life in abundance tonight. Father God, tonight I pray that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit tonight. Anoint mortal man of clay, anoint my lips, anoint my tongue, anoint my voice, anoint my body, my soul, my mental faculties, my thought process as I minister your words. Your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Heal me from every virus, every sickness, every germs, every disease, every infirmities and every evil and every work of darkness. As I minister tonight, that many will be saved, many will be healed, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness tonight my friends and beloved you are chosen by the most high god you are chosen by god himself joshua chapter 2 verse 1 to 17 we can read tonight rahab the harlot about rahab the harlot tonight praise god god wants to speak Speak to us tonight uh, through the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, yes, and it says, And Joshua, the son of Nun, sent out of Shittim uh, two men to spy secretly, saying, 
go view the land given in Jericho and they went my friends and came into a hollow house named Rahab and Lord there and it was told the king of Jericho and saying behold behold there came men and hither tonight of the children of Israel to search out the country and the king of Jericho set out Rahab saying bring forth the men that are come to thee which are entered into thy house for they become to search out all the country and the woman took the two men and hid them and said unto them there come men unto thee but I have not once they were and it came to pass about the time of the shutting of the gate when it was dark the men went out whither the men went and it was not pursue after them quickly for ye shall overtake them yes my friends and brought them she brought them my friends to the roof hallelujah of the house she brought them to the roof of the house praise the lord thank you jesus yes hallelujah oh blessed be the name of jesus she brought them my friends to the roof of the house the bible tells us is in joshua chapter 2 joshua chapter 2 verse 6 to 8 tells us clearly yes hallelujah isn't that awesome it says <laughs> In Joshua chapter 2, verse 6 to it, but she had brought them up to the roof of the house and hid them with the, the stock and flax which she had laid in order upon the roof. And even the men pursue after them the way up to Jordan onto the, the, onto the fords. Yes, my friends, the, the men pursue them. But what God tells us when the men began to pursue them, my friends and beloved, they, and as soon as they, they which pursue after them were gone out, they shut the gate and before it, I, I lay down, she came unto them. Yes, my friend, upon the roof. Yes, and the house of the, and the, the key, she came upon the roof of the house. Praise the Lord, which had laid an order upon the roof. Praise God. And the men pursue after them the way unto Jordan, unto the fords. Yes my friends and soon as they which pursued after them were gone were gone out they shut the gate and before they were laid down she came unto them praise god upon the roof and she said unto the men i know that the lord had given you the land hallelujah and that your, your terror is falling upon us and that all inhabitants of the land faint because of you for we have heard how the lord dried up the waters of the red sea for you when you came out of egypt and that he did unto the two kings of the amorites Yes, and we're on the other side of the Jordan River, and Sitton, and and he says Og, and whom he utterly destroyed. Praise the Lord tonight. And as soon as we had heard these things, our hearts did melted. Neither did there remain any more courage in any man because because of you for the lord your god for the lord your god he is god in heaven above and in earth beneath let's give my hand and now therefore i pray you so unto me by the lord since i have sued you can show you kindness that ye will also show me kindness unto my father's house and give me a true token that ye will save alive my father and my mother and my brethren praise God and my sisters and all that they and they and and have delivered our lives from death she says and the men answer her you our life for yours is if he utter not this our business and ye shall be Yes, when the Lord has given us uh, the land that we will deal, we will deal kindly and truly with thee. Then she set them down by a cord through the window for her house of her house upon the town wall, and she dwelt upon and they dwelt upon the wall, and she said unto them, Get get you out of the mountain, lest they pursue and beat you and hide yourself there three days unto the until the person to be returned and afterward he may, me may go your way and the men said unto her we will be blameless of this thine altar which thou has made us swear tonight yes my friends hallelujah is not awesome yes 
praise God, when the Israelites were preparing to enter the land of Canaan after the death of Moses and Joshua, spies sent spies unto Shishim and to Jericho. And there we are introduced to a harlot named Rahab. And there were our those who attempt to make Rahab more presentable and clean, but up for repetition. Therefore, they describe Rahab as an innkeeper rather than an harlot. The Bible says, for the reason for this. This is because in Matthew we see the genealogy of Jesus and the Messiah and amongst all the names that are there we, we find Rahab. We find Rahab however, however my friends and beloved the, the Bible is clear Rahab is not an innkeeper or a businesswoman simply my friends but Rahab was a prostitute. Yes, and a quarter lady of the night, both the Hebrew term Zina and the Greek word porn used to describe or mean. Yes, my friends, quarter prostitute, a woman who offers herself to men. Yes, now I want you to understand something about Rahab tonight. She was a woman of faith in verse 10. She, she tells the two spies that she had heard of God, of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. She had heard how the Lord dried up the waters of the Red Sea. She had heard of the children of Israel had accomplished, accomplished again different kings during the period, my friends, of Exodus, the conquest and the conquest. She had heard my friends and believed the God of Moses and although she lived in Jericho which was a city of darkness and evil my friends she chose to believe in the one true God Almighty. I'm sure tonight my friends I'm sure that Rahab will have been will have not been the only person in that city will have heard of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and yet only Rahab had believed. Yes, my friends, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 31 tells us, he says, by faith, the harlot Rahab perish not with them that believe not when she received the spies in peace. Yes, my friends and beloved tonight, those that perished in Jericho believe not, but Rahab, Rahab did not perish because she believe she believe and that is a lot like our generation today in our world there are people who have heard of the of jesus christ in the bible the vast number of people my friends in the nation have heard of jesus christ and of his goodness and mercy yes and his kindness and yet they believe not tonight they believe not first corinthians chapter 1 verse 18 tells us that the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. Yes, for unto us which are saved tonight is the power, is the power of God Almighty. Rahab was a harlot. Yes, she believed, and look how much she believed. My friends, she re risked her own life protecting these spies on the roof. She risked her own life choosing the side of the children of Israel over her own king's folks. Yes, my friends, Rahab stands as evidence of the transforming power of Almighty God. We don't know how she became a harlot, but we know that she believed, my friends, she believed and be as a, as a, a species, as quick to judge. We quick to judge people, human beings tend to cast judgment on other people without having context tonight. Yes, my friends, no one is more judgmental than a self-righteous person tonight. Don't be so quick to judge people tonight and you don't know that person where they come from. You don't know the life that person had lived. You don't know the trials and the tribulation, my friends, any person had to live through. Don't be so quick 
tonight to judge and condemn people my friends you see in, in a bad position in life it's easy it's easy very easy to look at someone in a bad situation and be judgmental towards them yes you don't know the life they live the trauma the trauma they had to endure we don't know why Rahab was a harlot yes we don't know about her history or her upbringing yes my friends but the life had brought her to this point where she was a harlot but God but God, but God, but God, the God who saves sinners, my friends, tonight, uh, transformed the very life uh, of Rahab and her greater, greater grandson was uh, Israel King, uh, King David. Can you imagine that uh, God used Rahab to be in the genealogy of the Messiah? Only God, my friends, can transform a life like like, uh, like that tonight uh, don't allow people to try to push you away from the Lord God Almighty tonight uh, and may have a dark uh, you may have a dark past or a horrible past uh, a past uh, where there are sh a shame of the speak where you're ashamed to speak about uh, in a past uh, that people People make fun of you for the past uh, where people look down on you. Uh, but for our uh, understand this, uh, that those people who judge, uh, yes, uh, those people who look down on you for what you have done uh, tonight are not God. Uh, they are not God tonight. Neither, my friends, uh, can they dictate your relationship uh, with the Almighty God tonight. Uh, stop care, caring for people. Think, stop caring what people think of you. Stop. Uh, caring what uh, your relatives think of you stop caring what the church and congregation thinks of you get right with god tonight uh, god is forgiving to tonight my friends god is a forgiving god tonight uh, and he uses broken people hallelujah i hear in the man of God, God uses messed up people. They are those of you may have lived a perfect life. Yes, a perfect life. Perfectly perfect, upright life. I know there are those Christians who pretend they have always been perfect. That's good for you. But my friends, allow me to speak about myself and others tonight. I have done things in my own life which I'm not proud of. I've done things which I'm not em I'm embarrassed of. What brings me comfort tonight, my friends, is that God uses imperfect people. Moses, my friends, killed a man, David. Yeah, David committed adultery and killed a man. Yes, my friends, Rahab was a harlot. Yes, and come to Jesus Christ today, my friends, no matter how many times you have failed tonight, no matter how dark your past is, come my friends, come, come to Jesus tonight, you may be an 83 year old woman or man tonight who has wasted your, your life in sin, you may be a 90 year old person, yes my friends who have come to the end of your life and you finally see, you finally see that you have been deceived by sin tonight and all is filter, yes my friends come to Jesus tonight repent he won't turn away do do you know the reason why Jonah Jonah didn't go on to go to preach to the Assyrians my friends he didn't like them yes they were an adulterous proud proud and ruthless people yes my friends they were the enemies of Israel itself when God sent Jonah as a ministry, 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 missionary to the capital, Nineveh, he didn't want them to receive the mercies of God. And this is seen in Jonah chapter 4, verse 2 tonight. So he prayed to the Lord and says, My friends and beloved, as the Lord was not uh, this that I said when I was still in my country, therefore I fled previously to Tarshish, for I know that you are a gracious and merciful God, slow to anger and abundant in loving kindness. Yes, my friends, one who relents from doing harm tonight. God is a God of forgiveness tonight, and if you have messed up your life, come to Jesus. 
Jesus tonight, my friends, if you have a horrible past, don't allow self-righteous people to push you away tonight from Jesus Christ. Come to Jesus tonight. I said this once and I will say it again. Jesus Christ, come for sinners. Yes, my friends, First Timothy chapter 1 verse 15 tells us, the saying is trustworthy tonight and deserving to full, full, full acceptance that Jesus Christ came onto this into this world to save sinners of whom I'm the force of foremost tonight. Rahab, my friends, faith is a wonderful, wonderful, greater thing, my friends. She believed when others didn't. I'm sure tonight that in Jericho there will have been self-respect people who looked down on Rahab as yet she believed and other did not I thank God tonight that in heaven my friends we will see people like Rahab people who have never passed yes beloved I thank God that in heaven we will see people people who by society's standards are looked look down upon Yes, I thank God tonight uh, that in heaven we will find all, all, all types of people who have believed and obey in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, yes, my friends, tonight, uh, do you not understand how important faith is uh, to God tonight? The Bible tells us uh, in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, uh, but without faith, uh, it is impossible to please him uh, for he that cometh to God tonight, uh, believe that he is he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him hallelujah you cannot please God without faith tonight my friends I have no doubt that faith the faith of Rahab please God please God when she had heard she believed she believed that she had heard change her life change her life she had heard she had heard brought light into her life what she had heard but fit into her yes my friends how do we know tonight that she acted on it she acted on it and it's your time tonight to believe in the God, in the God of this Bible tonight, my friends, believe in the God of this Bible. First Peter chapter 5, verse 6 it tells us, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking, my friends, tonight, whom he may devour. Yes, praise God, the life of a child of God must be tonight sober must be sober the life of a child of God tonight must be vigilant yes we must always be on the lookout we must be on the lookout we must always be conscious of the adversary our adversary my friends the devil the devil wants to sneaking at the hour when you least expect it yes my friends and he is not going to announce that he is going to attack <coughs> tomorrow my friends when Jesus was in the wilderness he never announced to him I'm coming yes when the adversary went after Job he never announced to Job he was coming my friends he wants to sleep and at an hour when you least expect it that uh, that's why we are told uh, clearly we are told clearly in first Peter chapter 5 verse 8 uh, be sober be vigilant uh, for we all know my friends the Bible says tonight uh, the devil comes uh, the devil comes to do if you don't know tonight uh, I suggest you read John chapter 10 uh, verse 10 tonight the Bible says uh, who resist steadfast uh, steadfast in the faith uh, even be vigilant be diligent uh, even be on the lookout uh, child of God tonight be on the lookout be sober tonight child of God be vigilant tonight child of God be prayerful tonight child of God child of God tonight the Bible tells you the Bible tells you to watch and pray watch and pray tonight these are our all spiritual things you should never stop doing these spiritual things feed your spiritual life don't ever stop praying don't ever stop meditating in your bible 
don't ever stop praying don't uh, don't ever stop my friends meditating in your bible yes my friends as a child of god we are told that it is a fighter uh, fight for us in ephesians uh, ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 uh, tells us for we wrestle not against flesh and blood uh, but against his principalities against powers against the rulers of this darkness yes my friends of this world against spiritual wickedness yes in high places tonight yes my friends it's not a fight with humans we as humans we are meant to love one another as we love ourselves but in terms of progress in your spiritual life and even my friends in your natural life tonight you have you have to fight you have to fight there is a quote I read which states be time for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle yes my friends you have to fight to believe my friends tonight you have to fight the faith hence when the Bible tells us fight fight the good fight of faith hallelujah you have to fight the devil hence why the bible says that tonight he says resist the devil and he will flee from you yes you have to fight to endure hence tonight why the bible tells us therefore my friends we must endure tonight hardship hardship as a good soldier tonight to of jesus christ himself you have to fight to keep going tonight hallelujah praise god thank you jesus oh blessed be the name of jesus you have to fight and not to give up tonight my friends do not give up tonight but fight on the foot fight to fit you have to fight my friends to pay bills tonight hallelujah you have to fight to pay the bills tonight hallelujah you have to fight to put to put food on the table tonight hallelujah you have to fight my friends friends praise god you have to fight my friends your fears tonight yes my friends you have to fight your fears tonight praise god hallelujah thank you jesus you have to fight your doubts tonight prison that awesome tonight you have to fight your doubts i repeat you have to fight your anxieties tonight my friends hallelujah praise god thank you jesus oh blessed be the name of jesus you have to fight your past this is your past of the past you have you have to fight your past yes my, my friends be kind tonight be kind for everyone you meet in fighting a hard battle yes my friends everyone is in the middle of a fight whether it may be with the devil tonight or whether it may be in the everyday life or your daily life you will have to fight beloved if you are old tonight you have to fight praise god if you are young tonight you have to fight if you are rich tonight you have to fight if you are poor tonight you have to fight praise god i am here today tonight to tell you to encourage you tonight praise god don't quit don't quit don't give up child of god don't give up you dear give up tonight don't dare give up you are a child of god beloved the royal blood of heaven is flowing in your veins tonight in jesus christ hallelujah give him a big hand we are no losers in christ tonight there is no defeat my friends yes god created you tonight hallelujah he fashioned you he fashion you god does not uh, manufacture junk tonight uh, praise god you are a child uh, of the most high god tonight uh, yes beloved you are not going to be victim tonight uh, you are not going to be victor tonight uh, because jesus christ is lord over your situation tonight uh, you are the head and not the tail tonight uh, praise god whenever you are whatever you are facing whenever you are facing a mountain too big uh, to be moved remember you serve a mountain moving god god God, who are you yes you're facing a giant too big to overcome tonight remember remember my friends you're serving a giant overcoming God tonight only believe my friends all things all things are 
possible for you. I think you have forgotten tonight, uh, praise God, that we serve a God, uh, we serve a God who cannot fail tonight, uh, who has never failed, who have never failed, who has promised us, uh, my friends and beloved, if we call upon him, uh, if we call upon him, he will show us greater and mighty things. Uh, hallelujah, praise God, God is on your side tonight, uh, God is with you tonight, uh, praise God, there may be times my friends in your life uh, when hell shows uh, the kitchen sink at you yes my friends second timothy chapter 2 verse 3 says hallelujah you give food tonight uh, must endure hardship uh, endure hardship as a good soldier of jesus christ uh, yes beloved you should, should consider tonight uh, example of jesus christ uh, praise the lord look at everything everything he had to endure my friends endure hallelujah praise god thank you jesus and he was still standing he was standing strong give him a hand tonight this fight, this fight the faith you can endure the cross at calvary you need to fight tonight hallelujah the good fight of faith beloved and friends you need to endure tonight the battle that you are in tonight now my friends and verse the verse tells us <coughs> you therefore must must endure hardship tonight praise the lord the road is not easy tonight my friends that is why you must fight you must fight fight to endure tonight get through Hold, yes, hold on, my friends, hold on and survive in this Christian life. Yes, beloved, it doesn't matter who you are tonight or who you know tonight or whether you are rich or poor, if you're from the east or from the west or hardship, do not deter, discriminate. Tell yourself tonight, I am still on my feet. Tell yourself tonight. Praise God, I'm fighting the good fight of fate. Tell yourself, beloved, I am still enduring. Tell yourself tonight, I am still standing strong. Tell yourself tonight, beloved, I will not bend, bow, bend, bow, or burn. Tell yourself tonight, to Jesus Christ. Looking at the winner, winner, there is a, uh, my friends, I, there is a video I saw and it spoke about uh, the importance of encouraging, encouraging yourself uh, and waiting around the people to do it, my friends, uh, for you it is said God did not bring you through all the hell, yet you've been through tonight uh, to leave you right there, tell yourself tonight uh, in Isaiah chapter 54 no weapon form against me shall prosper tonight uh, tell yourself beloved in Deuteronomy chapter 28 uh, verses 1 tells us uh, I am the head and not the tail tonight tell yourself Psalms 18 tonight uh, the Lord is my rock uh, and my fortress uh, and my deliverer tonight uh, tell Tell yourself Psalms 20, yes my friends, some trust in chariots, yes and some trust in horses, but my friends, we will, we will remember, we will remember the name of the Lord Almighty, tell, tell yourself Romans chapter 8 verse 37, we are more than conquerors, conquerors to him that love us tonight, tell yourself Romans chapter 8 verse 31, God is not, God is for me, who can be against me, tell yourself Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ tonight, who strengthens me hallelujah tell yourself tonight beloved Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 yes our faith tonight can move mountains tonight yes tell yourself Job chapter 13 yes true though he slay me though he slay me yet will I trust him tonight yes my friends that is the truth that is the truth in whatever fight you are going through tonight right now my friends and beloved have to I have to encourage you have to encourage yourself just like David did David did not look to anyone else my friends to encourage him David encouraged himself 
Hallelujah. Keep fighting tonight. Keep fighting. Keep fighting tonight and never give up. Yes, my friends, keep working. Keep working. You have to pull out your determination and keep going tonight. Yes, you have to pull out. Yes, your will. Your will and keep going tonight. Yes, God will. God will not let you down tonight. He will never leave you tonight, nor forsake you. You remember God, my friends, tonight is for you and not against you tonight. Need to keep fighting. Yes, my friends, you can do it. You can do it tonight through Jesus Christ. All things are possible, beloved. Yes, the standard, the standard chance. The devil never stood a chance. The devil never stood a chance. You don't know, my friends, that even in your weakest state tonight, my friends, you have more than enough power and to the most to destroy the force of darkness. You may struggle, you may struggle, but that does not change. That does not change you. You are more than an overcomer tonight hallelujah so don't give up you can't give up you never give up so keep going my friends keep going keep going child of god keep going child of god don't give up keep going keep marching keep pressing on keep going my friends tonight i want to wrap up but before i go i must pray for you i know many are sick tonight but I want to tell you, don't give up tonight. Those who are sick unto death tonight, you will not die. But God, God will make sure you live. You live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny. Tonight there is a tremendous anointing of God, the Holy Spirit in this room tonight. Praise God, those who are sick unto death tonight. If you have cancer, you have AIDS, you have COVID, you have diabetes, a heart problem, liver problem, lungs problem, blood issue, blood dialysis problem, posted cancer. My friends, I want to introduce you to the healer tonight. If you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb you lame tonight. I want to introduce you to the healer. If you're suffering from depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, I want to introduce you to the healer tonight. If you're demon possessed tonight, I want to introduce you to the healer tonight. That Jesus Christ can set you free if you have a migraine headache, if you're suffering from a migraine headache, a blood issue. Yes, tonight, if you have a blood, a blood dialysis problem tonight, if you have a diabetes tonight, God gonna touch your blood and heal your blood. If you're losing weight, yes, because of that diabetes tonight, God gonna touch you and heal your blood, and you're gonna regain your weight, and you will not die, but you will live if you're suffering with arthritis spin in your joints, in your fingers, in your knees, in your elbows, and any part of your body, God going to touch you and heal you tonight. Tonight is your night for a miracle. Tonight is your night for healing. Tonight is your night for deliverance. Tonight is your night for salvation. God going to set you free from those harassing demons. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I see the spirit dream that many are healed from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities I see demons are fleeing right now in the name of Jesus because there is power in the name of Jesus as I said for the anointing wherever you're listening from tonight from the UK the USA Canada the Caribbean or any part of the world tonight is your night for healing tonight is your night for a miracle Jesus took it all upon the cross of Calvary he was beaten with 39 stripes upon his back he was wounded for our transgressions Yes, his back was ripped and marred. The blood was upon the floor, mingled with his blood. Let me go a bit further. Yes, God created man out of dust and bring it to his nostrils, and man became a living soul. The God who formed man out of dust knows every part, every marrow, every joint, every bone, every kidney, every organ, every, every tissue. There is no big deal tonight for him to heal you and set you free. So tonight, as I send for the anointing, prepare to receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the 
Holy Spirit, I see many are healed, many are saved, many are delivered, many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness is the power of God. Let's give a big hand tonight for the healing and deliverance. Yes, my friends, because of time and of sicknesses and pain and disease tonight, but I know many are healed. Write me, text me, call me, and let me know what God has done for you tonight. My friends and beloved, I love you greatly tonight in the love of God. Do have a sweet night dress. I see you in the morning by the grace of God. In the name of Jesus, I love you greatly. God bless you richly. In Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah.